Well, hey everyone, I'm Chris for Vienna Care. Now, I want to be talking to you today about an exciting treatment that I've never tried before called Regerin HB, which stands for HydroBoost. So, Regerin HydroBoost is essentially a skin boosting treatment utilizing PN as well as hyaluronic acid. Now, you may be run wondering what is PN versus PDRN. Without getting too sciencey, PN is the good stuff. PN basically is your polynucleotides, um, which is basically a set of different types of molecules. Things like DNA and RNA are also PNs. PDRN is basically a subcategory of polynucleotides is also containing PDRN. So you're essentially getting all the good stuff by using a product with PN. And that's not to say that PD, just if you have a product that is only PDRN is not gonna be good, but this just has a higher abundance of essentially cellular activity and all the good stuff. Now, I'm very excited to try the Regerin line of products. I've never used them before. I hear many, many great things about it, so I'm excited to give it a try and see what I think about it. Now, inside your Regerin box comes a one mil syringe, and there's also a needle for your administering of the product. And obviously, that would be more for a subdermal technique. You are also able to use a Hydra Stamp, um, an easy injector, you can do your traditional mesotherapy. There's a number of ways that you can use this product. My personal way is to do a subdermal injection, which is your traditional mesotherapy technique. I'm also going to be trying the Crystal 5 Pin 2 millimeter meso needle attachment. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this 5 needle crystal attachment and attaching it to my syringe, so that way each section that I do, I'm essentially getting five injection points, which will make everything go by so much faster and make it so much easier and so much smoother. So the first thing that you need to do is get out your trusty gloves because we want to stay nice and clean, sanitized, and we want to disinfect our skin. I have 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes, and I will be wiping down my forehead wipe down my cheeks and I will just let that dry. Now why would I want to use a skin booster and why would I want to use a skin booster containing polynucleotides? Essentially I want to activate my old skin cells and make them act more youthful and act younger. Um, it's going to help actually increase your cellular activity of those cells and then they're going to in turn act like younger more youthful cells P PN is also going to help activate collagen production fibroblast production Which as we know as we get older the less activity that the cells are, are having and also the less collagen and fibroblast production we have so It's really important to do as much as we can to help stimulate that fibroblast stimulate that collagen, and also increase our hydration. And by using a product such as the Regerin HB, it's really gonna do that and it's really gonna deliver. And this is just by everything that I've read. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is gonna help with fine lines, with fine wrinkles, help with hyperpigmentation, discoloration of the skin. Um, it's gonna help produce that collagen and fibroblast, which in turn is gonna plump up your skin long term. So it's a multitude of benefits that can be seen after one treatment. Your recommended course of treatment is to do approximately two to three treatments spaced about two to three weeks apart, and then you can do this treatment about once every nine months. So I'm gonna take my crystal pin needle. I'm going to take the top off of my Regerin cap. I just twist and pull. Now instead of using this needle, which is a 33 gauge, four millimeter needle, I'm going to instead use this five pin, 33 gauge needle, and it's a two millimeter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on and just twist it to make sure it's secure, and then there we go. 
and it's on there. So since I've already disinfected my skin, I can just go ahead and I can start doing my injections. It is gonna be challenging to see the lines on this, but it, the recommended course it, for per injection is about 0.2 mils per area. So per injection. Now, in, in, in the past, with my experience with using skin boosters, you can actually feel the product going in. So I'm essentially just gonna be feeling the product. And as you can see here, the fine tip needles, there's five. I'm just gonna start on my forehead. All right, so I've basically treated my entire forehead and you will see these little raised bumps. This is typical and that is normal. So I'm just gonna go through here, just a couple more spots here and there. All right, so I have gone through about almost half. So I'm almost at my halfway point, if we can see here. So what I'm gonna to continue to do is I'm going to continue to do along this area through here. And this is essentially where I'm gonna be treating. I don't really need to go all up into my beard line because I have a beard and I just, no one really sees that except me. Uh, but this is the area that I will typically want more skin regeneration. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue to carry on.
All right, now we are all wiped up. Once your needle is done, you're gonna just twist, remove, put it back in the cap, and then we're gonna dispose of this properly in a sharps container. Now I'm gonna let you see what is going on. We are looking like a mosquito attacked us. We are looking like the peel of an orange and looking at all that texture. Now, that might seem a little alarming to you, but don't fret, it's not. This is completely normal. This is what the product is supposed to do. So you're just subdermally injecting this under your skin, and then your skin is gonna slowly absorb the product, and then your body is gonna absorb the nutrients and the ingredients and all that good stuff we talked about before, and then it's gonna start doing its job and it's gonna start activating those cells and making them act younger and more youthful. And then your skin is gonna be more hydrated, it's gonna be brighter, um, and it's gonna be plumper, it's gonna be firmer, it's gonna be more lifted, it's gonna have all these extra benefits. There is a slight downtime associated with this product, um, as well as most other mesotherapy treatments. You typically will have sometimes about a few hours, sometimes 24 hours, and some people, it can even actually take up to 48 hours for those bumps to be completely dissolved or absorbed through your skin. Uh, most of the time for me, it's about 24 hours, um, depending on how hydrated I am or how dehydrated I am. The more hydrated you are, um, sometimes the bumps can seem to dissipate a little bit slower uh, because your skin is typically more hydrated. Um, that's just what I've noticed for my own skin. So what I'm gonna do now is I, you know, clearly I've cleansed my face. So now I'm just going to go put a mask over top, just that nice hydrating mask. Um, and I'm just gonna use that for some calming and some soothing and a little aromatherapy and relaxing. And I'm gonna check in with you guys in about 24 hours um, from this video. And we'll see what my skin is looking and feeling like. So I will be back in 24 hours. All right, and welcome back. So it has been about, I wanna say about 27, 28 hours post um, injection of the Regeren HB. Um, and just as I expected, the, the mesotherapy bumps have gone down and they typically, I went to sleep last night and I woke up in the morning and they were essentially gone. So, as I had mentioned before, your mesotherapy bumps will typically go away within, you know, some people with four hours, some 24 hours, and in some rarer cases, you know, it could take up to 40 hours for some people, depending on the hydration of your skin and just your skin in general. So um, I'm very pleased to say that the mesotherapy bumps are gone. And also it should be noted that all of these mesotherapy treatments, typically you have to run a series of them to see the most impactful results. So typically you're not gonna see the best results after one, but um, today I felt like my skin was hydrated. Um, I had a little bit of a glow to my skin, so that was really nice. But mostly, you wanna build that collagen production, and that all happens underneath your, underneath in the, in the dermis of your skin. So we can see here, here is my skin. Now I've worked all day. And then there you have it. So all I've done was wash my face and I put on some moisturizer. Um, and that's essentially all I've done. And then later this evening, I'm just gonna apply some tretinoin to my skin and that is it. So like I said, this was just gonna be a nice little 24 hour check-in so you could see how my skin has recovered from the mesotherapy with the Regeren HB. Um, so if you haven't tried anything with PN or PDRN in it, I highly recommend you trying it or, or adding it to your skincare routine or add it into your mesotherapy schedule. Um, I'm certain you will not regret it. Um, so I definitely will be trying um, other things within that Regeren line because I want to see uh, what what the maximum results would be by using it. Um, so I would want to probably do about three courses of that. That's what I got for my check-in. As you can see, everything's great, everything's glowing, my skin looks 
healthy and all I have is just some pinpoint bruising which is pretty typical with me and my skin. If you want to see more videos um, on my channel, you can head over to youtube.com slash Christopher McGrady to see more content like this. Go ahead and give this video a like and a subscribe and then go head on over to my channel as well and like and subscribe there uh, and you'll be notified anytime we have new and exciting content posted to either of our channels. So until next time, I look forward um, to doing more treatments and I will see you soon. So take care and be well. Bye.